Welcome back to the three months of modal logic, the sequel to 100 Days of Logic here with Cardinates.org. Today we're going to be continuing November's focus on temporal logic, looking at the since and until operators. These are two brand new tense operators that we are going to be learning to help expand our the number of things that we can say about time. And we're going to be adding them along to the two new tense operators that we learned in the last video, next time and yesterday, to really expand kind of the meanings we can create out of temporal logic. Let's take a look. So, so far, we do not have a good way of expressing statements like, I have been jogging since I left my house, or I will not be home until all the work is done. We need two more operators to do this. They will be since... SPQ and until UPQ. SPQ will mean that P has been the case since a time when Q was true. So S, I am reading Don Quixote, you give Don Quixote to me, means I have been reading Don Quixote since you gave it to me. Okay? So the first one, P, since, and then Q, is basically how these are going to be structured. If you want this logically in terms of our precedence relation, we're going to define it as it has been the case that P, since it was the case that Q, means that there exists some moment in the past, X, where Q was true, and for all moments Y, between that one and now, P is true. Hopefully that makes sense, and the logic up there makes sense, and I haven't lost any parentheses, but it should be sufficient enough for you to create your own definition, even if mine doesn't make sense to you. Similarly, UPQ will mean that P will be the case until such a time that Q is true. It should kind of make sense that this is a little bit of a future analog to since. So, therefore, you, Daryl, is playing piano. Daryl is tired means that Daryl will be playing piano until he gets tired. So, once again, representing this logically, it will be the case that P until it is the case that Q means that there exists some moment X in the future where Q will be true, and for all moments Y between that moment and now, P is true. Once again, like I said, this should make sense as kind of a future analog to since. There are two ways to conceive of since and until, either as strict, where precedence is irreflexive, or as general, where precedence is defined as reflexive. Check out the video, I believe, is precedence reflexive or is time reflexive, or any of my videos on reflexivity and the properties of relations, if those ideas confuse you right now. We're not going to go into them here, though. We're going to use U and S to refer to the general versions, where precedence is considered reflexive and US and SS to refer to the strict versions, where precedence is considered irreflexive. Up next, we're going to be looking at some of the axioms that we can use now that we have since and until, and we might even throw some axioms of next time and yesterday in there as well. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.